Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the arrow for a list section in your Squarespace website. Now, if you, all you want to do is change the color of that arrow, you can use the design menu inside Squarespace. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to turn a circle background into a square, how to change the width of the actual arrow icon, and I'll even teach you how to replace those arrows with your own image. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but we've got a lot to cover today. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and I'll teach you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I have two different list sections, a carousel list section and a banner list section. Both of these have these arrows that show up automatically to help us scroll through the content of these different types of list sections. These are what we'll be customizing with code. I'm going to navigate to Pages, then I'll select Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. This is where we're going to paste the code that you'll find underneath the video. Now, we've got a lot to cover in this tutorial today, so feel free to check out those chapters listed below if you want to jump ahead. Let's start with our carousel list section. To turn these circles into squares, I'm going to paste this code that is listed underneath the video. What this does is it gives it a border radius of zero, turning that background into a square. Now, it's very important to notice we also adjusted the background of the mobile arrow and the overflow visible of the mobile arrow. Let me show you what we've done here. If we look at the mobile version of this carousel list section, you'll see that these are also squares, just like the desktop. But if I remove this last line of code, they're going to be cut off on the edges there. That overflow won't be visible. So I'm gonna select overflow vis... So I need to specify overflow visible in my code. Again, you'll find this entire code listed in the description below. I also want you to notice the word carousel listed in three different parts here. This will change only a carousel list section. Our banner list section is still the same as it was before. To adjust that, we need to replace the text carousel with banner slideshow, and I'll replace it in all three instances. Nothing happened because we're looking at mobile here. So we'll replace carousel with banner slideshow, and you'll see that little clipped edge there. Let's make sure overflow is visible for that as well, and there we go. Now I've made a note here in my code labeling this code, so I'm gonna change that note. Perfect, we now have banner slideshow square and we've changed the border radius to zero. Let's take a look at desktop and there we go. We now have those square backgrounds for the icons. Let's go ahead and adjust the width of the arrows next. I'm going to enter a new line of code and paste this here and you'll notice immediately the arrows became a lot thicker. They're now set to five pixels in width. I do wanna mention, however, this will change the mobile version too and these arrows don't look that great on mobile when they're that large. So the next code I want to share with you is going to replace these icons completely with our own image. I'll go ahead and remove all the codes that we have here. And let's scroll back up to carousel. We'll start with this one. I'll paste this code. Again, this is listed in the description below. You'll notice immediately the arrows went away. So we need to change this code to make sure that our own image is displayed. To add this image to Squarespace, I'm going to click on custom files at the very top of my CSS panel. Clicking on this drop down here, I can easily drag and drop an image for my computer right there. It's a white PNG image, so it's going to be difficult to see here. But if I highlight this text image URL here, I can remove it and it'll replace it with the URL for the image that I've uploaded. Now check it out. We have our own arrow icons here on the desktop version of our site. And if we hop into the mobile version, we'll see them here as well. Now this code got a little tricky. What I actually did was upload the image as the background for the list section arrows. Then I said background size cover, and I made sure that any background color wouldn't affect the image. After that, I used a little bit of code to flip it on the right side. So it's going to be the exact opposite of the image on the left, giving us similar arrow icon. And just like the last code that we did, if we want this to happen to the banner list section, replace the word carousel, there we go, the word carousel with banner slideshow. I will quickly copy and paste this into all of the instances of the word carousel in my code, but if you're working with the banner slideshow, you're going to find the whole code copy and paste underneath this video here. Let me just add it to this last one. So we get the flip. There we go. How cool was that to see? Now we have the image on the left and the right creating that action. Let's check out desktop. Perfect. Our banner slideshow has been updated. After you've made all the custom code changes you want to make, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. 
Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to make this magic happen inside Squarespace. Just make sure that you're using the correct code for the type of list section that you're using. Is it a carousel list section or a slideshow banner? Make sure you're using the correct code for that list section type and you'll be good to go. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments and feel free to suggest an idea for a future tutorial. I'm always looking for creative ways to customize Squarespace and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, I'd love to have you on my email list. Every single week, I send out tips and tricks about all the cool things that you can do with Squarespace. You can sign up for free at insidethesquare.co forward slash email. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash email, and I'll link to it in the description below.